So I've been thinking lately that El Toro Ryan's been a little comfortable. Yo, what's up, dudes? Like, he seems a little bit on his high horse. So now that I've more than doubled his subscribers. If you're looking for my channel, so twice as many subscribers as Ryan. Not quite That's twice. Awesome. It's like it's like almost twice. I think it's time to steal another coaster idiot. I'm on a new management album, uh, recruited by Airtime Thrills. I want to thank El Toro Ryan for everything that he's done for me. I got Uncle Nate, and we're going to his favorite land, Camp Snoopy. Okay. Not a single piece of shame. You need to get the cred. You have to be less than 69 inches. That's why Nate's here. You ready to meet some, uh, your, some of your friends on this ride? I might get a zen ride on the kitty coach, which <laughs> makes me really upset. Finally on the ride. There he goes. You didn't need a kid to ride that. Yeah. And yet you got a whole train full of kids to ride that with you. They all followed me. They know where I'm at. So what'd you think? Uh, it was a lot of fun. I enjoyed it. I want to go again, so. Uh oh. There he goes. So Uncle Nate was really scared of that drop. That drop is so steep. It was super intense and super steep and he thought he was going to fall out. Alright, so I'm going to trigger everybody on the internet right now. Don't oh, forget no. your booties because it's cold oh, out no. there. I like Silver Bullet. Other than the fact that it's not silver, I like it more than Raptor. I'm sorry I'm saying this, I like this ride. It is awesome. That wave turn is awesome. Apparently it's Kids Day here. I didn't know it was Kids Day. They followed me. Apparently Nate did because that's the reason he's here. He's, uh, <laughs> they, they either brought them with him, or he just knew it was going to happen. No, it's kind of like I just show up and they follow me. Okay, so we are marathoning Ghost Rider right now, and I met a coaster kid. Well, not really a coaster kid, and, uh, well, wristbands. <laughs> and wristbands. Hoodie, uh, shirts. <laughs> you want to introduce yourself to the world? Yep. What's your name? Uh, Oscar, I have uh, 32 credits. 32 credits. So we are going to hit up Ghost Rider for you, because the line is not that long. Ghost Rider, that was the fifth ride. Nate, I need you to tell me that you love it. I really enjoy it, but I, was, I love this roller coaster. It's I, amazing. I need you, but I need you, you to commit this to it. Thing up too much. It's top up there. ten. It's top ten overall. Top ten would maybe top. It'd be like maybe like eight or nine for my. Wood I need you to wood. commit to this as the best ride in the park and the best wooden coaster in California. Maybe I'll get there. Let's just keep riding it. Is like, this your favorite wooden coaster in California? It's the only. It's so the far, your favorite. The one it's so your favorite. So, yes, yeah. it's your favorite. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's, it's, so, yeah, it's your favorite. Yeah. We're gonna go with that. Okay. I'm gonna cling to whatever I can because Ghost Rider got your Woody. I'm sorry for the unpopular opinions today. No, the Silver Bullet is <laughs> sweet. Though. Oh, I gotta watch my language. It's You're gonna fine. I'm gonna open it out. You're just gonna make me do more work when I'm editing. Come okay. on. So now that Nate works for me, Ryan never took him anywhere fun. Like, okay, they went to a few parks here and there. But did Ryan ever take you to California? Ryan never took me to California. Ryan never took you anywhere outside his little bubble. Is that kitty credit closed? The kitty credit? Well, I'm sure you can uh, persuade him to open it up. I don't know. We'll see. One thing that people don't know about this park is that it has 29 credits. So I've taken Nate to the best park in the world, Knott's Berry Farm. 29? 29 credits at Knott's Berry Farm. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it is. And um, so... Now that you work for me, I just want to see how my logo would look on your shirt. So, okay. That's pretty good. And then we can try the Don't Staple Me Bro. Yeah, looks pretty good. So yeah, I'll let Nate choose which one he wants as uh, part of his uniform as my new employee. We're going to go get some kitty credits because that's, uh, you know, 
obvious reasons. <laughs> Alright, we're about ready to ride the shortest non kitty coaster ever. But don't tell Nate it's not a, it's not a kitty coaster. Wait, is it a kitty coaster or not? It's a kitty coaster. Okay, good. It's called Pony Express. You get to ride the ponies. I like ponies. And uh, it's a pretty big crowd here. A little surprised. But then again, it is kids' day. Goliath and Scream. Nate's gonna give you his review, and then I'm gonna react to it. Goliath was actually okay. I like positive G's. Yeah, that, that's wrong. Okay. Scream. Uh, that ride's an abomination. That's right. They need to RMC it right now. RMC the floorless. RMC the floorless. And um, yeah, that ride gets one scream. One scream. One scream. One scream Never for scream. Never again. One scream for scream. Well, I'm glad that he agrees with me on this because this thing needs to go. Give it to a park that will actually appreciate it, like, uh, I don't know, pretty much anywhere else except here. Give it to Great Adventure. They can use a ride like this. They already have one. They can use two. Hey, yeah, we, it's like uh, Six Flags yeah, we gave two. We gave them our extra boomerang. Why not? That does not make sense. Boomerang this, one, boomerang. this one's blue. That's way better than purple, whatever the hell color Honestly, the Bizarro general is. public probably wouldn't even notice that it's the same ride. They wouldn't. I've been trusting Uncle Nate to uh, stash our stuff. And uh, look, what, look what he did to his own cup. I broke it. It's destroyed. He just got that today. So he's going to make some bogus story up and try some to get it replaced. Some kid knocked it over and I need a new one. Some kid, and that kid's name is Uncle Nate. And uh, if there was a kid knocked it over, Uncle Nate would probably try to see if he wants to go ride some coasters with them. We can go ride Revolution. They might be tall enough. So this is not a kiddie coaster, but don't tell it to Nate, because uh, I mean, we're, we're in the kiddie section right now. We're riding it anyway. Ghost Rider and the shin crushing. God, help me, I don't want to die! Oh, stop, drop, and roll! Oh, help me, Oprah Winifrey! Okay, so Ghost Rider. That was, that was interesting. Yeah. What's your opinion? I got shin splints already. Shin splints the ride. Yeah, no good. That's actually the worst mouse, probably the worst mouse I've ever ridden. I'm going to agree with you on that one. If you want a good mouse, go to Lagoon. Or uh, ride the Arrow Mouse at Valley Fair. Or go to California's Great America. Same thing, yeah. But yeah, but this thing right here, they, they took out Perilous Plunge for that. And that's just sad. All right, we're marathoning a man's RMC right here. This ain't no Twisted Timbers. Uh, no, Twisted Timbers. This is better than Twisted Timbers. Oh, yeah. This ain't no Lightning Rod. Uh, I have lightning rod ranked higher than this, so I, I can't say uh, that. This is to be determined, but it's dang, rising. Dang, man. We, went, we got four rides. I think by the end of the night, this might be Nate's number one. It keeps going no, up. No, it, no, it keeps going up. It went from five to three. Gonna it's going to pass. It already passed I-305, thank God. But I-305 sucks. I-305 is boring. Your channel is boring. <laughs> So one of the cool things about being on YouTube is that we have employees, and Nate here worked for El Toro, El Toro Ryan. Yeah, so I guess Mike, you know, he was getting paid, but he wasn't getting paid enough. Ryan ain't paying anything. I haven't seen anything. He did pay for an entry to Seabreeze once for $11. That's, a, that's it. I need something. Here. Not only does Nate not get paid, he's got to pay for all of Ryan's food and admission and gas and everything. So I don't know. This car doesn't take gas though. Oh, that's probably why. Yeah. He has to pay for his electricity. So, Nate's over here under my ownership now, and I'm willing to give him at least a third of a third of a percent. And that's exponentially more than what Brian was paying him. So, what do you think? Dollar dollar bill, y'all. Hey, a third of a third of what, uh, what I'm bringing in, that's plenty. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. Honestly, if you buy me a drink tonight, I'm totally So would that be chocolate milk or? Uh... Oh, I like chalky milk. Okay. Okay. We'll, we'll, we'll go find a place that sells chocolate milk. I'm sure that's that's up right up your alley. Okay. So Nate's like, I always have the best day at parks. And Those then the best coaster days. And then the karma gods just like totally zapped him. We went to both credits on top of Samurai Summit. I, mean, I didn't even know Knott's had a hill, but we went to the top of that hill. Yeah, that's hilly at this park. And none of the coasters are open. Yeah. I guess you uh, you jinxed yourself, but I mean, I basically cut almost every credit in the park at like two and a half, three hours that's available right now, so. Well, the goal was 29 creds. I think you're at like a 26. We may need to bring in the kid to get some of the kiddie coasters. Yeah, I might steal a child, his child. We'll see what happens. <laughs> yeah, I'll allow it. I'll just keep my, uh, keep my eyes. So I just got wet with Uncle Nate. I, I mean, I always get everybody wet, so. Well, before you get any weird ideas, uh, we rode the Timber Mountain Log Ride. That is the greatest log flume I've ever ridden. I love it. Calico Mine Ride next. Calico Mine Ride, another classic. And I haven't been on this in 20 years, so thanks to Uncle Nate for making me go on this. Everybody told me while I'm here, there's a couple things I gotta do, and I'm gonna do them. One of them was the, was the log flume, which, Thank God it's not one of those that gets you soaked because it's not all that warm out here today. Yeah, there's a cold breeze right now, but. So next up, Calico Mine Ride Let's do this. Same, this is a credit, Nate? <laughs> this is a credit. There's anti rollback on that lift hill. <laughs> and there's kids on it, so it's gotta be a credit. So that ride was full of Nate's people. Yeah, they're like hillbilly. They look like half the patients that I take care of at work, so it's cool. I'm pretty sure that I saw at least one of the guys in there with a bandana, and he was. Uh, he had pit vipers on. And he was looking for um, some kids to ride coasters with. Yeah. So I think, yeah, I think that's what he said. Yeah, it's obviously my animatronic. And Nate's this like, thing might be a credit. It's a credit. Uh, it's got a lift hill on it. I heard like anti rollback kind of noises coming from it. It picked up speed at the end. Yeah, that's pretty weak. A lot of people consider other, like Blazing Fury. That thing's not much different than Blazing Fury. So I don't know. Put it in the comments below what you guys think. I know that it has a motor on the front. It's Calico Mine Ride a credit. This is the first time I've ever I heard know. anyone say this. It kind of it had a lift hill on it. Everything, lots of things have a lift hill. Yeah, I don't know. The log flume has a lift hill. Oh. Okay, the log flume's a credit too. Yeah, the log flumes could definitely be a credit. All right. I don't see why not. Dude, I'm picking up credits today. I didn't think I was going to do that. This is awesome. <laughs> I should bring Uncle Nate everywhere. Maybe like, maybe like my house has some credits. I mean, my plane ride here was a cred. My staircase is like a cred. It's all good. Maybe you can ride like the horsies. That's a cred. The horsies are a cred. Oh, crap. What? I thought I stepped in horse crap. Change your luck. You got on the world's first 100 mile per hour coaster. Nate? It was a roller coaster, kind of. Yeah, I think your reaction is kind of similar to Mike's. It was like, that was kind of stupid. The launch is fun, but the spike doesn't do anything for me. No. When we were on the spike, did, what did, I, did I say something? I was like, you, you, you said something that I'm not going like, to repeat this is here. This stupid. Yeah, you said something else. <laughs> but I won't repeat it here because this is a PG channel, unlike El Toro Orion with the filth. But I'm a creep. Both coasters on Samurai Summit are now open. We're gonna get the creds, and after that, just the kids' creds left. It's gonna, so I guess Nate's gonna end the day on a high note for it's him at least. A high note when I can write a kid credit. Yeah, we just need to find, to find some kids though. So if you know of anyone that can help us out, comment down below. Billy Zane knows how. Please, I have a child. We are in the underground. So Nate, what do you think? West Coast Racers. It's a solid coaster. I enjoy it. It's very good. So then we also got this thing out here. I don't know why Nantes has two GCIs, but yeah, no, I'm having a great time here at Nantes Berry Farm today. Yeah, I mean, I can't believe that you've gotten 29 credits in a few hours. I even had time to change my clothes. That's uh, we're not going to talk about that. Yeah, no, Uncle Nate's <coughs> inconsistency. <gonna. Yeah. clears throat> Uncle Nate got in trouble for trying to change his clothes in the park because he did it in Bugs Bunny Land. Apocalypse. Not quite as good as Ghost Rider. Even though he trolled me, he said it was better than Ghost Rider. I yeah, almost socked him right in the kidding, face I'm right kidding. there. These hats are for miners, so. The park's almost closed. You're Nate's a lot taller than me. That's true. I think that's, that it works out because Ryan is like the same size as you or much shorter. So. Yeah, no, it's cool. Yeah. So I'll be, I'll be Ryan. 
Yo, what's up, dude? Yo, what's up, dude? Hey, hey dude. dude. All right, we just got Laurent Nagar. That's for the nine Ghost Rider. Nine rides for the day. Pretty dang good. Nate finally came around. Says his number one wind coaster over the voyage over El Toro. I did not say that, <laughs> but you know what? It's. I think it'll be in my. It's gonna be in my top ten. Uh, top ten overall. Like no, top wood, ten wood, top ten wood. Top ten coasters that were ever made. No, I don't think it's gonna crack that list, but it's very, very good. Okay, you know what? I'll have to accept that. It's for in now. my top twenty-five for sure. I'll have to accept that for now. I had a great time at Knott's. There's a lot of. There's what twenty-nine coasters. Twenty-nine here. coasters. There's a lot of coasters. They wouldn't. We didn't have a kid, and they actually needed us to have a kid to get on Canyon Blasters. So that was disappointing. Whatever. But yeah, there just wasn't enough kids here today, so that's just too bad. So had a great time with my new employee Nate. Uh, we'll figure out that whole shirt situation later. Yeah. You know, I don't want to break your souvenir bottle any worse than it's it is. It's already destroyed. <laughs> That's it for now. Thank you all for watching. See you later. Hey, Ryan, guess what? I'm going to steal Mark, too. Yes, sir.